The World Health Organization states that tobacco kills about six million people each year. If dying isn't enough for a person to quit smoking, each year scientific journals like PRS continue to publish new research on the other very harmful effects of smoking. Whether it's how smoking ages your face, increases the risk of cleft lip and palate, or even other congenital birth defects, as well as how can it complicate wound healing and increase the risk of infection, the list goes on and on. And of course, PRS has been a leader in peer-reviewed evidence-based literature and videos on all of these dangers of smoking. While we know that smoking compromises wound healing in general, this new study in the Journal of Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery is aimed specifically to find out if the negative effects of smoking were the same on all operations performed by plastic surgeons. This team of researchers looked at over 40,000 patients who had undergone various plastic surgery procedures, including breast, upper and lower extremity reconstruction, abdominal and, and even craniofacial surgery. The authors confirmed that smokers had a higher likelihood of wound healing complications and infections no matter what the operation was that was being performed. That is no surprise. If you're considering plastic surgery or need reconstructive surgery, starting a smoking cessation program now is very important. And usually it's four to six weeks preoperatively. Most plastic surgeons, including myself, don't even consider operating on people if you smoke. For help with quitting, you can visit a number of websites like smokefree.gov, a service of the United States National Institutes of Health. To read more science on the dangers of smoking, visit prsjournal.com.